Hey guys, it's Major Miners here, and I am bringing you a commentary over the best game of all freaking time. It is Modern Warfare 3. It's about fucking time. It is so much effort to get off of this game. I can't even tell you. I did not want to get off this game. This is my first impressions commentary, and this was the first game I played. And I've got to tell you, I absolutely freaking love this game. And I don't want to sound like a COD fanboy, but oh my god, I was fanboying this game so much. I got on, and I was just literally jizzing in my pants every kill. I practically screamed in excitement. I whelped, and oh my god, I get four kill streaks in this game. Yeah, four care packages. Three of them are fucking UAVs, and one's a sentry gun, and it gets like one kill. And I was pretty pissed off because I get like four kill streaks. I'm I'm honestly not completely sure how the kill streaks work. Um, I'm kind of confused because I thought that even if you died, um, it didn't get rid of your kill streaks. Um, but I got to care package and then I couldn't seem to get any further um, and I don't even know why I couldn't really understand and I was too busy being just jizzing over this game the secondary I was using in this game I'm not I'm not sure what it was called it was actually a beast I I started turning to that weapon a lot more than I did the G36C which was my primary the G36C it's a good gun but it reminds me a lot of the um, the M4A1 off of um, COD 4, uh, Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4, and that is, it is high accuracy, but the damage is actually pretty shit, um, and I've got to say, it kind of disappointed me, um, because I love the G36 in COD 4, and I think they've tweaked it a bit, because the G36C seems to do more, uh, power in COD 4, maybe I'm wrong, um, but I, I like the feel of it more, although, I absolutely love the feel of this gun, don't get me wrong, I freaking loved using it, it was so much fun, but at the same time it just didn't feel as powerful. And I pick up the UMP, I don't really get a chance to use it, I wanted to use it to see um, if it was like more underpowered, more overpowered than the um, the UMP from Modern Warfare 2, but I didn't really get a chance to use it because too much shit was going on. Um, as you can see, I'm using a custom class, so the, the perks are scavenger, steady aim and something else, which was fine with me to be honest, because those are the kind of perks I use on a regular basis anyway. Way, so I didn't really give a shit. Um, and there's me getting my first care package. As you see, it's a UAV. I wasn't impressed. Although I did like the little cheeky walkie-talkie that you bring out. You know, that's always nice. Added a little walkie-talkie to make me feel better about my shitty little UAV. Um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I'd tell you guys the story of how I got Modern Warfare 3. Um, basically, I went down... Um, an hour and a half early because I wanted to get to the front of the queue and then I realized that was kind of a stupid idea and then I checked my um, wallet and I realized I hadn't brought my ID so I literally sprinted back like an idiot in front of people I just didn't care I'd lost all dignity it was more than for warfare free time and I was just like you know what fuck it I might as well lose my dignity started sprinting back um, got my ID started sprinting back again um, and then waited, waited for about half an hour. The waiting was literally killing me. I was counting down seconds. Um, what I have a habit of doing when I'm waiting like that, I, I look through old texts of people that I've um, that I've texted in the past and just reminisce. I'm like, I wonder what texts I sent to that guy when I'm in uh, when I was in college. And then I read those texts and I'm like, wow, I used to be a dickhead. Um, no, not really. I'm just kidding. But um, that's literally what I do just because I was so bored. Um, and then people started showing up. These two people start showed up and they were honestly a pair of wankers. They just they they kept trying to make a joke out of everything. And I mean anything that they saw, like, um, I, I don't know, just, just, some, someone would walk past, and they'd go, oh, he's wearing a leather jacket, he must think he's hard, am I right, guys? Uh-huh, uh-huh, and then they'd all start laughing, and I'm just sat there like, what the fuck? It's not even funny. And this other guy who was there was, like, literally laughing at every one of his jokes as if it was the most hilarious thing. And this was, like, amping him up. Whereas I was just sat there with my nose pressed up against the glass just looking at Modern Warfare 3. There was a moment where this guy came to, like, the front door and um, he started like putting Modern Warfare Freeze in the shelves and stuff and we all thought that he was going to bring Modern Warfare 3 out and everyone just went completely silent and we were just like oh my god he's going to give it to us and then he just he just takes like one look at us and then just shakes his head and walks away and I was just like you're such a fucking cunt Ugh. but um Anyway, the story, I, I kind of got off track a bit there, but um, anyway, I was at the front of the queue, because um, I got there so early, um, and I get into the store, 
and I just run to the till. I'm just like, are you going to sell me my Modern Warfare 3? And then she's like, uh, yeah, sure. And then she just goes, oh, wait, one second. You're the first person to buy Modern Warfare 3. And this is in Bath Town. There were actually quite a lot of people there. So it was, it was a bit of an achievement being the first person, I've got to say. Um, there were like 50 people there, 60 people there maybe. Um, and I was the first one in line. So they took a picture of me. And quite frankly, it was the worst picture that anyone has taken. Essentially what I did was... Um, she was trying to hand me this Modern Warfare 3. She had it out in her hand, like stretched palm type thing, and it was just like, here you go. And I was like looking at the guy who was taking a picture, but at the same time, my eye was getting distracted by Modern Warfare 3. And at the same time, I tried to do a cheeky thumbs up to the camera, and it just ended up with like my arms just stretched out all over the place with this upside down thumbs up and just a spastic smile I'm pretty sure I blinked when um he took the picture he even like looked at the picture like he even looked at me like in this way like that was the worst picture ever took another one and I'm pretty sure the second one was even worse so um I'm not looking forward to that if that gets like put on the front of the bath store that is going to be pretty goddamn embarrassing um and another thing was, my flat, um, they were all going out to town to party, and um, I said I wasn't going to be at the flat that day, and they were like, oh, why aren't you going to be at the flat? And I was like, oh, I've just got to see a mate, you know, um, and then they happened to walk past uh, me when I was, they were going to town, and I was sat at the front of the queue, just eager eyes, and they just looked at me, and they were just like, Adam, is that you? And I was just like... Oh, hey guys! Yeah, um, change of plan. I, I went to get Modern Warfare 3 instead. Um, and it was honestly quite embarrassing. Um, but they already know, like, I, I kind of tried to, like, hide the fact that I was such a COD nerd. Um, but the other day, like, we were in the kitchen, um, and they were talking about people making noise in our flat. And they were like, oh yeah, Adam, you make quite a lot of noise, because I heard you raging the other day at Call of Duty. Um, because literally I had one of the most rage-filled experiences on Call of Duty today, and I was just screaming, and they literally started talking about it in the kitchen, and it was kind of, kind of embarrassing. On the embarrassing side, I'm not gonna lie. But, um... Yeah, that's that's about it. That's the that's the that's the gist of the story. Um, and I get to wake up tomorrow and see pictures of myself doing homosexual thumbs ups to the cameras, and it's it's not going to look good. Um, but yeah, genuinely, when I get back on this game after doing this commentary, the the weapon I want to unlock and the weapon I just really want to play um, use is the uh, the Spaz 12 because. Oh my god, I saw the trailers for that, and I know, like, people are complaining because they put it to a primary because they loved it so much as a secondary, but I don't give a shit. It looks like they've amped it up, and it just looks so sick. Um, and even if it, it's not that powerful, I'm just going to love it because I love the Spaz 12 in Modern Warfare 2, and it was a beautiful gun. Um, I can't quite remember the uh, score of this game, but as you'll see, the, the gameplay kind of went downhill a bit towards the end. I started playing a bit shitty. Um, I think it was just because the pressure, because I was a I was actually getting a fair amount of kills. I managed to get like 31 kills, 13 deaths or something like that, which, you know, wasn't too bad for the first game. Um, and my first impressions of the game overall are, I think it's amazing, and I can't wait to fucking go back and play it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this first impressions commentary. Um, look forward to more Modern Warfare 3 content by me for sure. And I've been Major and Miners, and I'm out.